So everyone, here's the new BMW X1. This is the new generation, new design following the uh, trends in the BMW. So we have an interesting metallic orange color with some also gray uh, bottom parts going around. Now let's come a little bit closer and check it out. Now we have the new big grill, new daytime running lights. So these are BMW LED. I love the fact that this is floating inside top of the other part so we have new uh, design on the daytime running lights two lenses fog light integrated in the main light cluster this is the metallic color orange and then gray and a little silver metallic this diffuser is unpainted silver part on the bottom we have air intake in Swiss they have small plates we have the big grill it's massive it looks strong the car looks strong with it nice silver details and a little piano black inside there's a big air intake here and a lot of open space so there might be chip stones damaging your radiator we have the wireless 360 camera system there BMW badge on the top and this is the radio for emergency braking and cruise distance if I back up here there's a car behind me you can see the X1. <clears throat> Checking the alloys, these are 18 inch, five spoke silver. 225.55 R18, came on Continental Eco Contact 6. So we have gray, and then we have a little silver matte, same as the side mirror there. Have turn signals camera a little strikes there for our dynamics light and checking on the top we have the heads-up display two speakers on top of the dash you can see the new screen system two cameras for lane assist light and rain sensor on the top we have the slim roof racks open little panel roof that's tinted we have a new smaller shark fin better for aerodynamics if i back up here you can see the whole car profile nice and elegant also chrome around the windows tinted rear and beautiful bmw led lights now i love the street design and i love the signature of these these look amazing i gotta say and Checking at the bottom, there's a big exhaust pipe on the left side, also a little bit silver, gray. This one's metallic and unpainted silver on the back. Again, LED lights, X1 BMW badge, little camera with washer nozzle, white LED license plates, and S Drive 18D. So let's press to open now. We have a stoplight in the spoiler look at this this is kind of discreet spoiler but it has those nice tips there for aerodynamics let's open it up i'm gonna move so you can see the whole car in perspective there's some people browsing the car you can close here or lock top is plain you have emergency triangle room there hard top you can put an umbrella here you can remove these if you want to nice rubber stoppers there and it's very spacious so good space here this is flat you have a little space got be here white lights only on the right side full outlet there two grocery hooks and one and then here two tether points little net there no lights here have the Ice fix points and these extra points, four of them. Seats knocked down 60, 40, or 40, 40, 20. And over here, there's an extra room. You can see that. You can also push this and then it locks into the top position. You can see extra space here, so you get like five and then 10 fingers of height, extra room. So this is very spacious and practical. Let's close it up, check the car from another angle. So checking here, looking gorgeous. So I might get a thumbnail here. Everyone has passed, so 
I like the X1, it looks pretty good as a family car. Diesel, add blue, so I haven't seen diesel in a while, but uh, makes sense for SUV still. Now, we're gonna get into the back as soon as this gentleman finish. Okay, checking the rear. So they have the new flush handles. They're still physical, you can see that. And, well, I gotta say for the first time, not the best closing sound of the BMW. Uh, might be the reason because the window is open on both front windows. Uh, checking the seals, triple ceiling. This is covered. Uh, we have a little thingy here still. Uh, this is hard plastic. This is soft, softly padded leather here. Harman Kardon speakers that illuminate. At least the Harman Kardon. Nice big handles. This is plasticky, so this is brushed aluminium. And here, big pockets for water bottles. It's plasticky though. Now, checking the seats here, have smooth leather, nice perforated. These are your Isofix points there. And looking at the top, we have uh, footwell lights, AC vents there, nice big. So let's see if we can knock down the seat here. Excuse me, you have to use a little strap here. So many cars today. There you go, the knocks down automatically, you can see that and you can see the backspace in there. So there's a seat belt of it there on the top. It's uh, been held magnetically. So this locks into top position. So you have to pull this, I have to use my elbow. And then you can tilt this to upright position or fully tilt it. Let's jump inside. So plenty of feet room, knee room. I adjusted the seat for myself so you can see there's loads of space. There's a strap here, this is plasticky. The rest is leather. A really long armrest there. Uh, air vents, two USB-Cs for fast charging. A little cubby there. Transmission tunnel is tall, but yeah, I'm not sure if you can squeeze another person here. Let's see the closing sound. Oh, that was really hard, so not really good. I hope the windows are the case. Uh, as you can see here, you can slide the seat, so underneath you pull and you can, this is the uh, end, and this is the other end. Now this is sort of soft, the seats are really big and wide, and really comfortable here. Of course, you can adjust the headrest, I uh, love the 3 the design of these handles. Nice big tall windows, you have one in the seat pillar, good overview in the rear, so this is magnetic. And there's like a little one here, so maybe, I don't know, for your uh, kids or pets. Here you can put a pet net, and here you have all four sides of handles, and you have here little hooks and reading light. You can see the shade uh, is electronic, and you can see the panel roof. Now let's see headspace. So there is plenty of headspace here for a two meter tall person. Uh, definitely a super comfortable car. Despite the pan roof, I'm slightly touching, but it's okay. So for an average person, there should be more than enough headspace. Uh, not adjustable seatbelt there. And let's get out and we're gonna get on the front. You wanna go? So the kind gentleman uh, led us to film, so he's gonna brow later. And over here, you can see, you can touch our for lock on lock. Now, yeah, the closing sound could be better. I think it's because the windows are down. Front doors open wider. Also, triple ceiling. So, I mean, I've never heard a BMW that I could say that it had a bad closing sound, so it must be the window, yeah. Uh, this is kind of stiff. It's covered by leather. And here, lock on lock. You have memory seats, hard card and speakers, a little piano black here and ambient light. This is softly padded, softly padded. You can lock the rear, but you can see it's stuck. You cannot unlock it. Uh, all power windows, power uh, side mirrors. You can fold them, no heating option. Actually, yeah, no heating option, but there's uh, auto dimming. And you can open or close from the driver position and another speaker here. Car plastic at the bottom. Feels a little bit cheap for a BMW, to be honest. And today's prices, BMW aluminum doorstep there. And over here you can see tire pressure dimensions. 
You can see the paddles. Seats are electronic. This is for the tilt and back and forward, up and down for the whole seat so this doesn't extend. This did not, uh, as I see, something here like an air vent or something. Now, really smallest bolsters I've seen they have black leather, it's nice, fairly smooth, and it's perforated. So, bigger bolsters on the top. But the seats look comfy. Now, over here, you can see there's uh, some space, it's rubberized, so you can put some stuff there. Certain column is manual on this one, not electronic. Here, you can control, control your lights, keep them on automatic. You have fogs and uh, lights menu there. Let's jump inside. So, closing the doors and let's see here. So, uh, you saw the avatars in the color of the vehicle, which is quite cool. Now, let's switch to wide lens. Voila, so here's the point of view. Now, we have really big side mirrors. I have to back up a little bit so you can see them. So, it looks gorgeous. Love the new horn, kind of small. And these are the new displays so looks cool now uh, let's zoom back in so checking the steering wheel it has a uh, quite texture to it it's a uh, free spoke nice um, little silver here you have uh, nice physical controls driving modes cruise control um, I guess distance here you can see for the cockpit views. So you press here and then you can change uh, to the head-up display, which I don't see at the moment. And you can change the layout here. Now someone has opened the rear, so it kind of showed this the avatar. Uh, continuing on, you have here your uh, light controls, turn signals, wiper controls. All standard there, and over here you can see some silver details, air vents, open and close. This is soft and covered by leather. This is kind of a nice little rough texture to it. Uh, two speakers that I showed you from the other perspective. The dash is nice and soft, covered by leather. Two air vents there, and horrible piano black. I just noticed that, so yeah, not a huge fan. I have one air vent here. You have Max blow on the front and mirror the frost. Uh, two screens on the top as shown. A little bit curved here facing the driver. Now you can put your phone here and there are I think some ambient lights around here so you can like clip it there and uh, actually someone left the trash on the car show. Uh, no manners. So cup holders here and the rubber mat. Not your trash. Uh, USB C's, two of them, and a 12 volt outlet there. Uh, as you can see, this piece is connected, so this is kind of floating here, but it's connected on the other side. Now we have here start uh, stop engine, and this whole thing is like the new 2 series, which I also love. Same concept uh, back and forth for reverse neutral drive, press to park, press for auto hold. Um, hmm, not sure if there's a air suspension. It brings up the uh, menu for uh, wheels, uh, my modes, so I guess personal, sport, and efficient. Now, over here, you have the camera, so you can see that over here you have parking sensors, and over here you have cameras, so it's nice and it detects the distance of these chairs. So other objects, you can see the wide lens, uh, 3D as well, so you can see the car. Can I move it? I guess no. I can move the cameras here, so. Uh, really good avatar, it looks cool. So you can see that. Now uh, you have your volume options, so there's a talk radio, press to mute, skip, and over here you have hazard buttons, uh, excuse me, button for hazards, uh, hazard lights, and over here you press, slowly it opens, then you have to open it manually, 
there's a rubber mat here, so this kind of odd space in the big armrest. It's uh, soft-ish. So the seats feel comfy. And over here, slowly opening plasticky, but not that cheap plastic. It looks okay. And then they added rubber mat there, and they have a nice big light. So I'll turn off the cameras there and let's check the um, display here. So get to the apps. So when you touch here, you have these free setups here. So let's get to the home menu. Actually, I'm going to go to the apps and immediately uh, change the language to system settings to um, English because my channel is obviously in English. That's the language I'm talking at the moment. So um, home uh, screen here, you can see we have different pages and BMW has a really in-depth infotainment. So I'm just gonna browse through quickly. Beautiful graphics. Of course, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth. I have here car settings. Look at the avatar. It looks amazing and so sharp, even on the camera. I gotta tell you, a lot of screens doesn't don't do justice, but here it just looks super good. So, uh, adaptive content, engine tire pressure, oil add blue, vehicle status, journey data. Uh, there's a shortcut for the apps search. Uh, of course, the climate is always at the bottom. Now over here we have a local temperature, so you can see that. And here is route preview, so uh, this is like a demo. So navigation is nice and fast. Of course, you have a lot of options for point of interest, avoid ferries, and so on tools. Uh, traffic route, you can add more widgets to the screen or the home screen. And if you go here to the apps, you can see all the apps, uh, live vehicle, okay, brings you to the same menu there. Uh, system settings, so you have here, you can see all of that. Remote software upgrades, so they have over the air updates finally. And you have the interior lights, so let's check those. You can see now at the moment the Harman Kardon is illuminated, so you can see it better on this end. So, yeah. Uh, ambient lights, you can play with the colors. Uh, there's plenty of them, so let's see. Orange car, complementary would be blue color. So, there we go. Or was it violet? I can't remember. Huh. Okay, so. As you can see, so many options. So there are driver settings, uh, driving settings. That's what the little button here was. And we said just here, lane departure. Okay. And quickly here, climate controls. You have a visual. Uh, if you touch on the bottom, it brings you to the same menu. And vehicle status so it brings it to the car menu so a lot of options my moods so you can again personal sport or um, <clears throat> or efficient uh, so you have here media phone navigation shortcuts and there's always uh, shortcuts here on the side uh, and just to show you the seat comfort so seat belt warning position tension and so on I don't see any here at our uh, lumbar support but I'm gonna wrap it here and I would like to show you the uh, infotainment or the excuse me the uh, digital cockpit but uh, as soon as these people close the doors just to see the uh, layout so you can see here and here so you use this guy and this so there's different layouts uh, different content so you can choose uh, well at the moment it's just showing it's not even showing the head up as you can see it's just plain uh, but 
we don't have the key if we had the key it's definitely uh, easier um, yeah separate view of the uh, x7 there and let's uh, wrap it up check the top so you have a good overview on the rear baseless mirror auto dimming option um, and over here we have the BMW lights so are they touch lights yeah they are so you can see that and you have here covered emergency button in there a little ambient light only one so it's kind of shining this area airbag passenger information uh, this doesn't work but it's usually for opening the shade and banner roof documents holder privacy mirror oh it's a beauty mirror warm light consistent with the interior and this does not extend here so this area is not covered and of course on the top plenty of headroom for two meter tall person that's usually not the case um, and I mean that's usually not the problem in, in cars sorry uh, a little bit late filming a lot of cars and um, I just gotta say this is a really cool family car uh, it's very spacious practical and gives you that little premium uh, touch of BMW which is actually luxurious but this is definitely not luxurious they could have used some other on that one as well uh, not to forget I'm gonna pop the bonnet and switch the lights on so just uh, yeah let me see here there is to the left so someone's trying to help us as well <laughs> ah i know the problem i didn't pull twice so problem fixed i didn't pull twice on bmw it's twice uh so we have gas struts but back up here you can see the whole car and here's the engine bay bmw cover we have washer fluid here the rest you should leave it to mechanics now you close it up just push it harder and it closes perfectly in this case yeah it's actually good i thought it didn't close properly now back up here you can see the led lights on and how they look from this angle so very interesting I gotta say, it's actually reminding me of the Ford Focus for some reason. I'm not sure if it's only me. So, yeah. Or maybe, no, maybe it's, yeah, I don't know. First thing that came to my mind is Ford Focus. Uh, looking at the lights. So, maybe because of this reversed position, it usually was like other side, not, not like this. It was like this, the opposite way. So maybe, I don't know. And to turn on the turn signals. So just to show you those, you can see BMW is now using this pulsating turn signals. And you can see that the daytime running lights turn into turn signals, but they're now kind of pulsating. They have like two stages, like illuminate and then like a pulse. So I'm not sure if this is only for hazards or for turn signals as well. So uh, let's check the spec. I'm going to turn off the lights to the default position later. So we're in Swiss, in Zurich. So this is a Deutsch spoken or German speaking uh, area. So 150 horsepower, uh, 5.2 liters fuel consumption. And we have the X1S drive 18d you can see here a few options so i think this is um uh price with options so base price fifty thousand seven hundred swiss francs 67 with options and then uh with discount they give you on the car show swiss bonus uh discount and uh something else comes to 57 almost 58 which is a good thing and this is the monthly lease if I'm not mistaken 
So everyone tell me in the comments below how do you like the new X1?